We've really proven, you know, again, where we can play with anybody. And we've won our share of them, but the, the little mistakes, win and lose you games at this time of year, so we gotta, we gotta make sure we're finding ways to win. We are greatly looking forward to it, you know, it's pretty much a new season, second chance to redeem ourselves. On so Friday, uh, we don't know who we'll be playing against Northwestern and, or, you know, Iowa, so coach said, you know, we're just going to work on us, but it, it is kind of difficult not knowing, uh, you know, who, who you're not playing because we don't know if we have to, you know, go over this, look at this scout or look at this other team scout, so it is, it kind of is difficult. Every game, you know, we've had, you know, at least two days, you know, to prepare for a team and uh, know that. But, uh, you know, the Big Ten, the good thing about the Big Ten is, you know, um, we, we know each team inside out. And uh, so, you know, coach is going to prepare us no matter what. We have an obligation right now to get ourselves up for the game. This is March and it's one and done, so we got to just keep playing hard so we don't have to go home. I was very excited when I found out that uh, the Big Ten tournament was going to be held in Chicago. Uh, that's not too far from where I live, about you know 15, 20 minutes, and uh, you know that's good for my family and friends and come up, uh, come to the game. And you know, everything is magnified during this time. Uh, you got to play with you know energy and passion, and and uh, have you know have you know no mistakes on the court. And, you're going to make some mistakes, but, you know, try to limit them and, and uh, you know, just go out there and play hard. And it, it does bring a lot of excitement, uh, you know, for, for this league because, you know, it's one and done and you have so many great teams in this league. And, uh, you know, teams, you know, knowing that, you know, it's one game elimination, you're just going to give it their all and just play hard. It's a different adjustment because you're going to an arena that you haven't played in, you haven't shot in yet. And, and you're trying to go out there and kind of feel your way out. Uh, it's a different environment. Uh, it's going to be new for me, so I think it'll be pretty sweet. And, uh, it's probably going to be the best tournament, conference tournament of the year. Chicago, you know, it's a lot of history in that United Center, and uh, you know, it's a, it's a good gym. You know, it's a it's a nice city to play in, and you know, all the Big Ten teams are going to be there. All the fans are going to be there, so. You know, it's going to be a great environment. Uh, college basketball is a weird thing. The nice thing about it, there's so many games with so many different situations. So the uh, exciting things can happen every single night. So uh, it's just a really cool time to be in uh, college basketball right now. The United Center is a great place to play. You know, they, have, they have a rich basketball tradition. So uh, I'm just excited to be a part of this whole thing. Play with a purpose, with a no tomorrow. Okay, and that's what you got to learn how to do. And for some people, some people that uh, that brings nervousness, some people it brings excitement, and some people it's somewhere in between. So I'm going to tell you where I'm at. I don't ever want to lose a game again as long as I coach. All the teams that came had something to prove, something to accomplish. And this game between Iowa and Michigan State is no different. The energy, camaraderie, communicating each other is going to get you a lot farther than any X and O I can dro drop. Any shot that Keith Applin can make, any dunk that Adrian Payne can make, any power move that Derek Nix can make. It's not as good as you bringing what you had this morning. That's one thing Coach talked about is never give up in this program. Uh, just keep fighting to the end. That's what we did. In the first half, we got off to a slow start. And, uh, um, 
I had more energy and it seemed like they wanted it more in the um, second half. We just, uh, you know, at times we picked it up and, you know, picked it up at the right times. I think our second half we brought more energy and we were more focused. I mean, uh, we fell asleep a couple times defensively in the first half and, and they made us pay for it. I mean, so you got to give them a lot of credit. Just trying to, you know, win in advance, you know, uh, you know, for us to come out as sluggish as we did, you know, uh, we can't we can't have games like that. We we weren't we, we weren't very solid, you know. In the second half, we we picked up our energy, and you know things worked out for us on the defensive end, offensive end. After a disappointing even halftime, uh, where I didn't think we were responding, uh, these guys kind of took over. Brandon Dawson, even a guy like Travis Trice, finally went to Knicks. Every one of them made a hero's play at the end, and. It wasn't just one guy. These guys would spearheaded it, but every guy made a big play, and we found a way to luckily, luckily win. For this tournament, you know, the first game is always the toughest, and I was a really good team, so, you know, you can't come out with that type of energy against them or else, you know, you get get what you get. And um, so we had to pick it up in the second half, and we just made plays. I mean, I think they're definitely, they should be an NCAA tournament team, the way they played tonight and the way they've been playing all season. Yeah, we, we just had to come out here and we just play hard, and uh, that's what we did. We uh we just being being physical. Uh, you know we try to play defense and not give them second chance shots. You know, Keith Keith he can jump and uh, you know that was that was a flash of Russell Westbrook. So you know, when he did that, you know it, it gave us you know it definitely gave us life and motivation. You know, plays like that, you know they bring energy to the to the team and and uh, you know everybody get fired up and the, and, the, and the crowd feed off of it and then we feed off the crowd and you know it's kind of hard to get it, you know stop us from when things like that is going. Keith said. He told us that we weren't losing the game, and uh, he stepped up and, and led us. You know, that had to be one of the most physical games I ever played in. You know, those guys were all over the place, each and every possession. And, you know, luckily we were able to pull it out at the end. Long two, off the rim, no. Dawson chases it down and saves it to Applin. Brace 35 for Michigan State. Keith breaks to the basket. Shots away off the glad. Yes! This does build character. It built character what we did. And some people are wondering, is it going to wear everybody down? It will wear the weak ones down. But the strong ones are going to keep moving forward. And, uh, and the strong ones are going to be able to sit in a locker room before a big game. And who knows who we're playing in the NCAA tournament and say, hey, we played this team, this team, this team, this team. Uh, you've been there before, you've done that, or at halftime, or with two minutes left to go in a game now, I might be able to use this event as, you know what, we found a way even though we weren't playing good. Uh, you know, we just got to prepare and, you know, get, stay focused and uh, bring a lot of energy. No team wants to, you know, end their season right now, so everybody's playing as hard as they can, so, you know, tomorrow, you know, we're just going to have to come out and play as hard as we can. The, the one thing, the main thing I learned, you know, been it's my first time, is uh, just come out uh, aggressive, uh, you know, in the, in the beginning, uh, because, you know, with that performance we had, you know, could loss us the game. So we just have to come out with energy. We just have to focus on us, uh, you know, Coach said, you know, when we get back, we're going to have, you know, meeting and everything, and the main thing we have to do is just focus on us. We play, you know, play bad in the first half, you know, we were kind of low in the beginning, and uh, we just have to do what we have to do, and, you know, just keep working on us. Watch a little bit of this. DJ Day and Mike can throw some things at you, but I need you focusing in because tomorrow it's get up. It's going to be a walk through there. It's going to be breakfast. Might be a hair of film. And it's game time. Okay, I'm going to try to make this as quick as I can. 
And the way they set up that ball screen, we're probably gonna have to just force him that way. Who's he shooting in the league? 34%. See, this guy's in perfect shape right here. This guy here, gotta be helping. Remember, we want to stay there, keep them from getting to your outside shoulder. We do not want to get overextended. Stepped up, and that step up command just went to the board and got an offensive rebound for a putback. But look at him on the right shoulder, left shoulder in the post. It's marketable difference. Not nearly as good when he's, when he's putting the ball on the floor going right. Look at this thing. We've got a lot of things to cover in an hour in the morning, and that'll be it. So get some rest. See you in the morning, guys. Survive in advance. We survive, we advance. You don't even have to come up like that. Just think what you just did. I love it. Hey, D, don't get that foot too far up, though. We're still flat. First time playing a Big Ten tournament, you know, unfortunately we, we didn't win, but you know, I enjoyed it uh, going out there and competing with my you know, my teammates. So yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, you're, you're frustrated about a loss, but sometimes there's nothing really you can do. Especially when your goal is to win uh, the Big Ten tournament, and uh, I mean, we fell short, but uh, so I mean, it's kind of frustrating for us right now. Those guys just play better. You know, they play hard in every possession. You know, they deserve to win. Covered, you know, they sagged in the paint a lot, and uh, you know we had we had to hit outside shots, but uh, you know our shots wasn't falling early, and you know we just we just went in sync. When they went to me, uh, I just made plays and got it in and out and made a couple free throws and try to get going. I say that you know when you're going into into our big guys like Asian Payne and Derrick Nix. You know, we, the, the offense flows well, especially when the ball going to some Knicks. You know, Coach said, you know, every, every time the ball went going going to the Knicks, you know, some good happens. Yeah, on some plays, some plays we just loafed a little bit and wasn't able to come up with key rebounds. You know, they was just solid defensively. You know, they played great help side defense, and it was just hard hard for us to get in the rhythm. You know, this is a disappointing loss. Uh, you know, we came out. Uh, I, I say that, you know, in the first half, you know, it was kind of different from the Iowa. From the Iowa game, you know, we came up with a lot of energy, and you know, Coach said, you know, we just didn't play smart. And you know, the one thing he said that you know we definitely had to do better is get the 50 50 balls, and you know, we didn't do that tonight. Yeah, I mean, there were times where they 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 were going out of bounds, falling out of bounds, and throw it into their guy, or it bounces off our leg and goes out of bounds. Just, I mean, that was the story of today's game is we didn't get all those balls, the 50 50 balls. Well, we got to execute and uh, just keep playing together and 
making key plays down the stretch. Uh, we just got to come out, you know, put this behind us and, and try to focus on what we got to do to get better. They rallied to the ball more in the post, and, you know, they just pressured us a little bit, and, you know, we didn't respond. It's frustrating, you know. Um, it's just, you know, we, we worked so hard, and it uh, seemed like it just didn't work, it didn't pay off. It seemed like we were just right there, we just couldn't get over the hump. When you're down the stretch, you're in a close game, and the ball bounces the wrong way for you, and, and you end up losing, but you got to give them a lot of credit because they played well. Yeah, we all fought hard. I mean, Nobody liked that for me. It was just uh, a couple plays just didn't go our way. And, uh, I went there and they were able to pull it out. You know, we got to uh, watch the film, learn from it, and make sure it doesn't happen again. We just got to pay attention to detail that much more. I mean, I mean, this was almost like a trial run for the um, NCAA. Now we know what it feels like, and we don't want to feel this if we lose. We just have to keep working on us and you know, just keep picking each other out of this team. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our New York studio in the NCAA Basketball Championship Selection Show as the NCAA celebrates 75 years of March Madness. Number three seed in the first team out of the Big Ten, Michigan State Spartans. Tom Izzo makes it 16 straight NCAA tournament appearances. They will play from the Horizon League, the Crusaders of Valparaiso. The Crusaders won the Horizon League regular season and tournament championship. It's a real feeling, I mean, first time uh, being a part of it, it's going to be my first NCAA tournament, and I'm looking forward to it. I was, you know, kind of excited, well, very excited, uh, because, you know, this is my first time, uh, you know, first, you know, NCAA, uh, you know, experience, but, you know, I was kind of, you know, uh, happy to see us, you know, pop up on the screen. Uh, you know, we was excited, um, you know, you may not have seen it, but, you know, I was very excited. Um, just for, just to be able to, you know, play in front of our fans. I'm excited to be, uh, Close to home, I think it's got 90% uh, positives. You know, there's always the 10% keeping players focused on. Sometimes if you get them away, it's a little better. But to be here for our families, to be here for travel, to be here for um, hopefully uh, a bunch of Spartan fans that'll get to go to the game and save costs, or be here for, uh, for every reason is good, uh, yet you still gotta play the game. So. In this tournament, this winner go home, man. If you take any team for granted on any given night, you could be upset and be heading back home. So that's one of the things that we don't want to happen. So we just got to watch the film and try to focus in for 40 minutes. Um, you know, I think we're very focused right now. Um, we see where we at and we see we got to play. And uh, we know what we got to do to get better now. And, um, you know, we, gotta, we got some experience in the tournament. And, um, you know, we're just, we just got to focus in and, uh, you know, take game by game. Conference season has really helped this team out because, I mean, it, it has been a tough conference season. Everybody's been so good, um, and you have to bring your game every night. Um, so that has really prepared us for this tournament, and hopefully we can carry over. When you're playing all these good teams all the time. That's what you get used to doing, so there's no surprises. And that's what you have to prepare for, that grind, that gauntlet. We've had to do that, and I still think I don't think it's going to fatigue anybody in our league. I think it's going to make us all better, and I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a great tournament. Uh, I mean, we just know that. I mean, it's just got to take care of business on Thursday. I mean, we know we're happy to make the tournament, but now it's uh, now we know we're playing. Now we got to get ready for them. And we're going to watch some film up um, about Valpo real quick, um, just to start getting a mindset uh, for for the game and uh, just see opportunity where we can move forward um, with a little bit of work. To be the best, you got to play the best. And, uh, you know, I think early on, we got to play games that uh, we got to find a way to win. And if we get out of the first weekend, you know, we really got two one seeds because potentially because Duke was a one seed up until yesterday or the day before. So I think the Big Ten prepared us, you know, a lot uh, for this tournament because, like you said, you know, the Big Ten Conference is very tough. Uh, and we, we play, you know, most of those teams, you know, that's, you know, our number one seeds like the Indiana and Kansas. but. You know, the Big Ten has definitely prepared us, you know, a lot for this tournament because, you know, they have great teams and, 
you know, when you play great teams and you go in a tournament, you know, going to be playing, you know, a lot of uh, competition. So I think we're ready for it. And, you know, one thing about this tournament, as, as you know, my philosophy changed quite a few years ago that we do got to prepare for the whole weekend because that's the only way it's successful is if you win the weekend right now. Yeah, I think we all kind of took a deep breath when we saw that there was four teams instead of three teams to scout. The extra playing game um, will add a little work, but uh, right now we're just putting in games. It's an hour after the show and putting in games, we'll probably put in 10 or 12 games per opponent. We'll try to get as many of them in tonight and then uh, we'll start breaking them down as soon as the first set of games are in and here in about another half hour. Uh, we were excited. We were excited to get to work. Uh, we, you know, we build we build for this night all year round, um, and so now in one night we get to put together, uh, you know, basically scouting reports on three, four different teams actually, uh, and and see as fast as we can do it. And uh, coach really takes pride in us in this night just because of the amount of preparation that we can uh, allow him to have in one night. Yeah, this is a buzz. This is a buzz night. Uh, there's definitely a buzz going around here right now. People flying around at the first couple of seconds, first couple of minutes. Uh, everyone kind of going to their specific duties and specific responsibilities. But yeah, it's glad to be playing. It's better to be one of those 68 than, than not being in the tournament.